Congressman, thanks so much for joining us here. What are you hearing from the people you represent in Arkansas? Uh, what are they afraid of most? How are they feeling? Well, Chuck, Allison, thanks for having me. The number one issue is the uncertainty about how long this crisis is going to last and how we're going to best tackle uh, America's defense against this invader on now the economic implications of this public health crisis. So visiting with restaurant owners yesterday, hospitals, bankers, uh, agriculture people, they are, they're concerned about the amount of time and they're concerned about how to tackle their own financial challenges as a result of the uh, virus. Sir, I want to get your thoughts on the proposed stimulus bill. Do you think that it is enough? What are your thoughts on that? Well, thanks. Uh, you know, I think of this as an, in a 9-11 context as opposed to an economic financial crisis. This is all about repelling this invader, tackling it, and getting things back to normal as soon as possible. So I tend to think of it as an economic defense package as opposed to a stimulus package. We're talking about economic preservation. So I thought that the uh, Treasury Secretary's outline that's been presented to Congress had about the right mix of things, of direct support, and particularly business interruption lending. That's what I think is the most important. It keeps people employed. It keeps companies functioning. It keeps good banking relationships and supplier relationships. So if there's anything we want to say that's the most important, I would argue it's the business interruption financing. I'm glad you brought that up because with these phases of the different bills, there's so many different facets and parts of it that all lawmakers need to come together to agree upon in order to get all this uh, passed. So my question for you is this. Um, what has the response been like with lawmakers? Is it a different time there in Capitol Hill for them to come together to agree on these issues? Is there more infighting? Is there less? Kind of set this and paint this for us. Yeah, I think with President Trump's strong leadership and the leadership of the across the full government, I sense uh, working together and consensus is the order of the day. We passed the $8 billion public health emergency appropriation a few days ago with overwhelming numbers. We came together on a House bill to try to help families, and now I think the Senate is working well together. So in my view, Chuck, I think people are working constructively together. We know we have a common enemy now, and it's this invading virus. Sir, is there anything else that you think the government should be doing right now? Well, moving quickly is, I think, uh, the most important thing. We've done that on the public health issue. I thought the president's press conference recently so, uh, talking about how the military could help back up our public health system. I thought that was very helpful. But when it comes to this economic preservation money, speed is what's important so that we can give certainty to that restaurant owner, certainty to that small business person that a 90-day financing is going to be available through their bank with some support from the government. And likewise, that money that goes to individuals through the unemployment insurance system and a rebate on some of their taxes, that'll help families have some certainty that they have cash in their pocket if they're laid off here in the next uh, few days. Some reports I was reading, Senator Rand Paul kind of making headlines because uh, he proposed an amendment that would pull military out of Afghanistan inside of one of these these bills. What have you heard on that? And what's been your response to that, sir? Well, I just don't think this is the time and place to get off track and debate other issues. There are many challenges facing America around the world, from North Korea to Iran to extricating a peace deal with the Taliban. But this isn't the time to be dealing with it. We need to be focused as one country in repelling this Asian invader of the coronavirus. Sir, how, currently how many cases do you have in Arkansas? Well, as of yesterday, it was 22. The governor's having a press conference uh, as we speak now, and I think that number will be slightly up. But we have a full government economic and public health response here in Arkansas, and I appreciate Asa Hutchison's leadership. All right. Well, Congressman French Hill, thank you so much for joining us today. Stay safe out there. Well, thank Stay you. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Yes, we are.